Hello everyone. I have created a VBA program using an Excel interface to create a 3D stat model for a typical ATI building. Say this is my input sheet. So we have inputs like a width of a building. Consider I have a 45 meter width and my height is say 12 meter my reach distance. So it is automatically calculated based upon the width. Considering my frame is a symmetrical frame. So my reach distance will be exactly half of the width. It is 22.5. Then my slope is I'm considering as one is to 10, then number of rafters. So our slant rafter length from a point to a reach point is 22.612. We have to divide this rafter into several pieces, right? So let me divide those things. Here, the rafter spacing have to be written from a rich point. So say my rich piece is 3.1 meter, then uh, I'm dividing each piece at three meter. So three, 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 three. And finally, my remaining length is 4.512. So I have 4.512. So my rafter spacing have been provided. In total, I have seven rafters. So my number of rafters need to be seven. And for support condition, I'm going with the pinned or fi fixed condition. And then number of frames. So how many number of frames I require? Say we are going to have uh, six base spacings of 7.5 meter each. So in total six base spacing, so seven frames. And my base spacing would start from, my z axis would start from zero, then 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5. So six base spacings and then seven frames. And that's it. We are good to create our 3D model. Let me generate stat. So here, if you see, my stat model is generated based upon my in input. Let us cross check. So my width of a building is 45 meter. Yes, it is okay. My height is 12 meter. It is okay. And my base spacing is six at 7.5. So they are good too. And moreover, if you see the important thing is the members are already renumbered as per the grid lines. Say here, my member number starting from 101 to 109 for the first frame, and the next frame is 201 to 209, 301 to 309, and similarly, all other frames. So it will be easy for us to apply uh, member properties as well as the application of loads and design parameters will be easy. And it's all about this tool. So it is a beta version. Now I am currently developing it furthermore by adding bracings and wind columns too. And hopefully I would like to add a common loads like dead load, live load and wind load too, based upon some inputs. So, so currently I'm figuring out how to transfer this particular program to a proper programming language. Okay is uh, please give your feedback and that would be helpful for me to further proceed with this particular tool. Thank you.